Glorifying God means to reflect His likeness in all that we do. Therefore, falling short of the glory of God means that we're not reflecting properly His image any longer. It's almost like a mirror. A mirror is made to reflect an image. So we are to reflect that image of God. But what sin does puts cracks in the mirror. So the mirror doesn't cease to be a mirror, but all of a sudden its image is distorted. So in conclusion, if you think that by going to a medium, to a necromancer, or by doing seances, you are actually getting in touch with the spirits of the dead, you are wrong. You are only opening yourself up to potentially demon oppression, if not even demon possession, if you're not a believer. So be careful with that. I think we are fighting a battle that in a way we can never win by the virtue of the name that we carry. What I mean by that is, as a Christian, you are to love, you are to forgive, you are not to retaliate, you are not to seek your own vengeance. So the enemy knows all of this. And it's like, okay, we can go at them because they will never retaliate. I mean, think about doing something like that to Muslims. You cannot even conceive it, right? Because they say, no, wait a minute, we don't know what they're going to come back at us with. So people don't even engage in a battle like that because they know that they might be threatened themselves. With us, we are pushovers. And I'm thinking, at what point you're going to say enough is enough, I'm not going to put up with this anymore. And how do you go about, I don't want to say retaliate, or how do you go about engaging in the battle while maintaining you know, the Christian principles? As you start losing important things in your life in the midst of that heat, then you might say, what use is Christianity? Because you wanted a blesser, not a savior. A sugar daddy, not a king. You saw Jesus as a service provider. So as long as he continued to provide, everything was fine. But that shows that what you really worship were the very things that you lost in the fire, you lost in that heat. So those were really your true gods. Why? Because you never transfer kingship to Jesus Christ. Your primary concern as a sufferer was to find a solution. So you didn't really see yourself as a sinner in need of a savior. So you never repented. You never really surrendered. You went on an emotional journey, but you didn't understand fully the message of Jesus. Mary Magdalene stays there, probably she's there praying, she's just wondering, you know, what happened, you know, what's going on. She meets the Lord, the Lord calls her, she recognizes him, so she goes basically back to the house and she says, guys, I saw him. And that saw, the last saw, is Oraho, which is an experiential scene. I didn't just see him, I experienced him. And that's kind of what I'm striving for. Are we experiencing Him the same way, to the point that we can't contain it? We are becoming contagious witnesses to the people around us.